Thank you for having me. It's glad to meet everyone. And as Paula mentioned, I worked as a lawyer. I also studied at four universities, um, studied law at four universities in Europe and Australia. I also taught law at two universities as well. Um, so I've been a student, a law student. I taught law students. I was a practicing lawyer myself. And I must say that through most of my life, I was severely sleep deprived and by choice. <laughs> and if I could go back in time to talk to my younger self, I would say, your brain doesn't care. Your brain doesn't care who you are, what are you passionate about, what is it you're doing, by default, it functions similarly. Your brain doesn't care if you're Elon Musk or a student, if you're a struggling single parent or a tycoon, if you're a janitor or a president. Your brain does not care. And it is important for us to know how it functions and how to take care of it. So this is something that I neglected through yeah, nearly three decades, and I paid for it with a uh, complete burnout. I was in such a bad place. I thought that was it. I thought that, you know, my place on earth was just nearly ending. Um, I was, before that, I was in pain for over a decade. My entire body was in pain, my muscles, my joints, everything. And um, so what happened, because I wasn't sleeping properly and I kept making this joke that I would sleep it off once I die, you know, and I thought I was so smart to say something like that. I did not realize how much damage I was causing to my brain, to my entire body. I developed in particular chronic inflammation. And as experts know now that chronic inflammation leads to the vast majority of diseases, whether it's mental or physical, whether we're talking about depression or anxiety or Alzheimer's or heart disease or cancer, basically you name it, um, chronic inflammation is the root of all those diseases. And for me, it turned into 24 hour constant chronic pain all over my body. So that, that, that would happen to me. And yes, if I could go back in time, I would explain to myself that sleep is actually the most important thing that you can do for your well-being, for your happiness, for your health, for your professional success. In fact, um, while food and movement are very, very important for us, sleep is actually more important than nutrition and exercise put together. <laughs> 